Hello, friends. Winston here. Today's video, Summer Cactus, is about identifying species of plants in a garden setting. We're going to look at the plant and try to make sense of what species they are. Starting off, we're going to be looking at Fiesto Cactus, those small sized columns which grow in many a garden. Not the big size one like Zoguaro, small size, fierce cactus. easily grown in a normal garden as they present you with no problem. Even if you would like to grow them in pots, sorry, they would be just as easy. The second group of plants we're looking at are much smaller in size. They include many what we call echinopsis. Some are parodias. There's that odd agave in the middle of these plants. And coming towards the right hand side, you can see a, a very fabulous opuntia. Towards the top, Parodia, of course, some mammillaria. The interesting thing about cactus is the variety. If you look at the present format, available there, you can see almost any and every kind of succulent, including Victoria Regina. This is, of course, agave. And this little section, as I say, of summer cactus is also about those that are not cactus. Agaves, you can see three or four there, and they're generally surrounded by the wrong plant, which are possibly ferrocactus. That little one coming up now, I would say is Echinocerius, another Echinocerius, and the big plant, of course, it's an agave, i.e. zebra. Okay. The important element here is in a garden of succulents or cacti, you can put together a very flamboyant collection. There's our zebra print again. On the left hand side, of course, is a ferrocactus. Plants like these are not too difficult to grow if you try and decide the arranging for yourself. First of all, I would think that if you embrace a garden plan which allows you to select your group, it would be not impossible to come up with a very desirable cactus setting. This one is, of course, the famous candicans, Echinopsis candicans, which is a plant easily grown for two or three years, which produce massive flowers, the kind of flowers we all long for. Candy can is a nice and desirable plant you should aim at. Our tephro cactus friends, very small. There was a time when these were simply lumped in with the opuntias. Now they are called a little species group on their own. There are many forms of tephrocactus, articulatus, molinensis, and you can grab them somewhere. Uh, what do we have here? Warrior cereus, a very desirable plant from South America. The woolly nature always give you a clue 
to these plants are accustomed or like to be grown in a very cold climate. They come from the Andes of South America, and therefore these are the kind of plants you can leave outside and don't worry about. Opuntia macrocentra. Opuntia has come in many shapes and sizes. The thing about them as well is that they can grow very easily and they can stand very cold, much cold. Even if you grow them in a pot, <clears throat> it's possible to withstand any These are different succulents and they are zapelias. If you look at them, they grow very small. I would think very few of them even make one foot tall, usually about six to eight inches tall, and they'll be fine. The flower is unusual, star shaped, yellow or red sometimes in appearance, but very odd to the average um, person who is accustomed to bright type cactus flower. Of course, this is not a cactus. This is a succulent, meaning that they belong to a group of species, the Peliad, and they also can be grown in their own way in pots. Ah, here we are, something that is easily recognized, Opuntia, Basilaris, an attractive plant, which is not always regular shape. This is one of the bigger leaf type of Basilaris, and you have to decide how best you care for them, but they are cold enough not only to grow outside, but also to produce very interesting flowers. Basilaris, a cactus you should aspire to go. Even in a pot. Ah, here's my surprise. This is the Bromelia, as you might have guessed it. I would say a Dikia. Let's say a known dick here for the moment, surrounded by mammillaries. Look, the mammillaries you can always guess because they look like mum with lots of young plants. Dick here will not be everybody's cup of tea, but I think it's important if you try and grow some. Okay, we end this little session with some agave. This is agave horida. And an easy plant to grow. The other point about it, it, it never grows to a great size, so it allows you to grow in the ground very easily if you want. It also allows you to put it in a pot if you don't have the room. Here's your chance. Name all the plants. I'll leave some information at the bottom. Winston in London. Thanks for watching.